Okay, so today we're looking at a few different membranes. Uh, we have three of them in front of us. This is a Colligan style membrane. Um, and we have two standard regular membranes that go into pretty much any system. Actually, all of these can go into a regular system. Uh, the only difference between this and this is where the gasket is located. So, uh, but we'll get into that in a second. It's really not going to matter where this gasket is, but uh, I'll explain that soon. Um, the first one up here is a CTA membrane, also known as a cellulose triacetate membrane. These two are both uh, thin film composite or thin film membranes. Uh, the cellul cellulose triacetate <clears throat> is a natural uh, paper byproduct, whereas these two are synthetic. Uh, because they're synthetic, they're, they're chlorine sensitive. So you, for with thin film composites, you require uh, chlorine removal, whereas this one does not require any chlorine removal. Uh, this is an older style membrane, the CTA membrane. Uh, this is this one's made by GE Dassault. That style was quite a ways back when uh, RO systems were, you know, first being made. They're still used today uh, in a lot of applications where chlorine is required, and uh, you don't. You know you don't want to remove the chlorine for, for whatever particular reasons but for a lot of home residential uses um, they're not used as, as quite as often as before uh, the rejection rate for these CTA, mem CTA membranes are 85 to 95 percent these get up to about uh, closer to about 95 percent you know in the range of anywhere between 90 and 98 percent just depends on on the brand the, the water temperature all that good stuff um, there's no real difference when you get into the gasket cell, even though this gasket is located here <coughs> and this one's here, it could literally be that way and it'd still be the same. Um, the, f the direction of flow does not matter whatsoever. Uh, so the only difference is if you happen to get a collagen membrane and you just need to use it for whatever reason. Uh, you can actually just put this in the same housing as this one, except just put it in where the O-rings would seal on the inside first. The gasket would fit a little funny, but it'll still seal properly. So, um, that's another little trick, but that, that's a different uh, video altogether. Uh, these two membranes are exactly the same and can be used in either system. This is the same as well, and it can use, be used also in any of the systems. But uh, the difference, again, between the cellulose acetate and the thin film composite is that CTA membranes do not require any chlorine removal, whereas these do. Um, again, rejection rate is going to be a lot better with this style. In fact, they're getting so much better now that the uh, standard membranes um, are usually a 1 to 4 ratio, including uh, the CTAs. They're all one to four, but the newer membranes, because they're synthetic, they can be made to, uh, to be much more finer, um, where they're getting to become a, a, a one to one ratio in a lot of cases. Some are one to two. Uh, Film Tech has one that's that's getting very good. Uh, I think they have the same part number uh, as like the old style membranes, but they just get, usually add like an HR to it. So for example, it'd be like TW30, 1812 50 and then they'll add HR for you know I don't know what maybe high rejection I have no clue but uh, it, it's definitely a, a better rejection ratio compared to its old styled uh, predecessor but that, that's pretty much it for for membranes uh, they do get much larger than this these can go up to about uh, 200 gallons a day depending I mean on you know for the same residential size. But you know, you can get to commercial sizes up to about, you know, 2500 gallons per membrane. Um and and uh that that would be commercial sized. But uh, we don't have this one in this video for for now. We'll go ahead and show you later in the next video what the commercial ones would be like. Um uh, rejection rates would be pretty much very similar as well. All right. Well, that ends today's video. Have a good day.